Whether you are out there searching for toilet paper or washing your hands again, you feel like your life is coming to a grinding halt. I mean, were you out today at the grocery store? The coronavirus is that's what everybody is talking about. And in the last 90 minutes, we have learned that Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's wife has tested positive for COVID-19. All right, back here stateside, 12 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the state, and the governor is warning that it's going to go up. Major precautions the likes we've never seen are underway. He has activated the National Guard. He is gathering any gathering of 250 or more people like the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Sunday here in Baltimore canceled or postponed. The cruise ship terminal at the Port of Baltimore now shut down. The governor wants to limit the spread of the virus and the biggest move of all, closing all schools starting Monday for at least two weeks. For Marylanders, the actions that I have announced here today will be disruptive to your everyday lives. And they may sound extreme and they may sound frightening, uh, but they could be the difference in saving lives and helping keep people safe. We have started to work immediately to ensure that vital services, such as the provision of meals to students, will continue to be provided throughout the duration of this school closure period. Now, the Maryland School Superintendent is also recommending jurisdictions use spring break to make up for the closure. So, as of right now, Maryland Public Schools will remain shut down until at least March the 27th. In Baltimore City, staff is being asked to come in tomorrow to rush and then create these learning packets for students. And as you can imagine, this is not a simple task. WMAR 2 News, Eddie Kadem is live at Baltimore City School Headquarters tonight. Frustration over the teachers dealing with all this and concern for the kids, Eddie. That's right, Jamie. The kids' safety is obviously their number one priority. They say continuing the education online isn't an option because of equity issues. A lot of the teachers and students that live in Baltimore City don't have access to reliable Internet. They say that if things were put in place in advance of this, like affordable Wi-Fi or at-home devices that can connect to the Internet, it would have been plausible, but it's a little too late for that now. Coronavirus rang the bell for schools in Maryland. Safety of the children and staff is the top priority. Zach Taylor with the Baltimore City Schools Teachers Union found out about the statewide closure of public schools while we were interviewing him. But he says a lack of funding will make it almost impossible to effectively teach kids. He believes if the Kerwin Commission plan currently being considered in Annapolis was in place, it could have made a big difference. It's outrageous. Um, we should go into a situation like this just in a better place. And we're not because of things that are outside the control of any of our teachers or students. Still, tomorrow, Baltimore City teachers are being asked to come in to prepare learning packets for students, a decision the teachers union is not happy about because many staff members are high risk. These workers shouldn't be forced to go into situations that aren't yet clear in terms of, you know, what health risk are they facing? So that's something that we'll be contacting the district on. It's something that we've already shared and we'll be emphasizing that, you know, in, in addition to social distancing measures and the other uh, measures that are being taken, this staff uh, and this population needs to be taken into consideration. He says schools are severely under-resourced to even create these plans. Simple things like paper, uh, like working copying machines, copy machines that have toner. And if we're asking of our 7,000 members, 5,000 teachers to be making a week or more worth of work in packets, we're going to have issues uh, making sure that that can happen and doing it in a way that makes sense. Something important to note, spring break for Baltimore City School students is the week before Easter. Now, also something else, there have been no reported cases of coronavirus testing positive in Baltimore City up to this point. Live on North Avenue at Baltimore City School headquarters, Eddie Catum, WMAR 2 News. All right, Eddie.